Every now and then an AI tool comes out that makes me think maybe it's not all that scary, maybe it won't replace us all, and maybe, just maybe, it might make life that little bit easier. Well, this AI tool from Adobe that's built into Premiere is a really good example of that. And to be honest, it's pretty mind-blowing. All right, guys, and welcome back to Editor's Life. I'm sure we've all been in a position where you're working on an edit and the music track you've got is either too long or too short. Well, with genuinely just a few clicks, you can now use Adobe's Remix tool that's powered by Adobe Sense's machine learning AI software and you can make that track exactly the length you need. So this track lasts about two minutes, so you need it to be half that length. Instead of making a cut at the one minute mark and either having it end abruptly or fading out, or perhaps you've tried to make multiple cuts to create your own version, which will often result in you being left with a, a jump in the middle of the music like this. You can now use Adobe's AI Remix tool to create your own perfect version that will last a minute. So what you want to do is select the Remix tool and you can find this in your Ripple Edit tool by holding down and finding at the bottom of the menu. And then simply just drag the track to the length you need it to be. As you can see, the AI software is now analyzing the best way to remix this music. And if you look at these little squiggly lines, you can see where it's made the cuts it needs to and these will sound seamless. Sometimes it is impossible to make it exactly the length you need because the BPM of the music might affect where it can and can't make those cuts logically. But if you do want to make it more accurate, you can click on the track and then come over to your Essential Sounds panel. As you can see, the software's given the track a five second threshold on the remix, so the remix duration is about one minute and four seconds. If you do want to make this more accurate and you want to make it exactly a minute long, you can just roll back the target duration to about 55 seconds instead of a minute. And now you'll notice that since the track's been remixed again, we're a lot closer to the one minute mark that we were looking for. You'll notice that there are more cut points towards the end of the remix. And again, these work absolutely seamlessly. If you twirl down the customize options, this is where you can adjust the number of segments. So the number of cuts that are made, and you can also adjust the variation on these cuts. This is a totally non-destructive process, so you can trial and error this, you can, you can do it as many times as you need to. You're not only restricted to making songs shorter, so let's go back to the original track, and you'll see that we can make this as long as we need to make it. So, that's about 8 minutes long. I wouldn't push this too far, I'd probably only go about 30 seconds maximum myself, because it will make the remix very repetitive. If you want to end your song with a, a reverb or echo effect, something that's quite popular in trailers and promos, I'll stick a link to a tutorial I've created for that in the top corner of this video, and there are a bunch of different audio related tutorials on the channel. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, leaving a like on the video would really help me out, and if you're interested in all these AI tools coming to Premiere, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to cover a bunch of them in the coming weeks. Cheers.